I'm here today to talk about uh, Il Jili's new book, The Art of Coexistence. One of the key messages of the, of the book is the coexistence is not optional, it's not one of the many ways of existing. Instead, it's the only way for us to continue to live on this planet. We haven't witnessing, we have been witnessing the urgent necessity for coexistence and everywhere in, in human life between people, between organizations, between businesses, between nations, and even between us and viruses. We have had, uh, we have had a hard time with the coronaviruses for over three years. It's not over yet. But now we learn that we cannot remove them completely from our life. If you try too hard, we may kill ourselves. So we have to learn. We have to learn to live with that. So again, coexistence is an option. That's the only way that you can exist. But the good news is, there are qualities or conditions in human mind, or more precisely, human nature, human brain, the qualities that make coexistence possible and, and reality. Introspection, con conscience, and empathy. These are the three qualities in human nature that make coexistence possible or even inevitable. The first introspection is our ability to, to recognize how we are, what we want, and eventually who we really are. And conscience is our willingness to be truthful, to do the right things, even against our personal benefit, and feeling uncomfortable or even pain when we are not truthful. And I believe I have that, I believe everybody has that too. And then empathy is our ability to feel how others feel, especially others' pain. Don't you feel you really understood when other people know your pain? And that's how we feel. That's the power of empathy. When other people know our pain, we really feel comforted and healed and understood and be connected. So these are the three qualities. Now, I want you to close your eyes. Nothing's out there with your physical eyes. Close your eyes. Now, I want you to allow yourself to feel this taste. Bitterness creates more saliva. Bitterness also wakes up your brain. Your brain stay. And through this bitterness, you may recover the senses of energy, like you felt this tingly sensations after moving uh, your body up and down. Now, some of you, you may already feel in the different places in your body. Now, I want you to slowly lift up your hands off of your knees, Detach your arm from the side of your body, about a few inches above your legs. I want you to feel this sense of tingliness that you just felt after shaking your body. Can you feel that sensation in your hands? Or even your feet, your organs, different places. Now I want you to bring your attention to your hands, fingertips, palms, prickling, warm sensation begin to gather. Now if you feel so, can you please nod your head? Wonderful. Now you can make the circular movement with your hands, very, very small circle. You can begin to move your hands. You can still breathe. Wonderful. Some of you may feel like fire on your fingertip and hands and even to your feet. Can you feel that heat in your hands? If you feel so, can you please nod? Oh, wonderful. Good. Now slowly you can move your hands up about a few 
few inches and few inches down, up and down. And let your hands move and feel this sensation. And some of you may feel like this gloves you're wearing on your hands. Warm, tingly energy is gathering in your hands. This is the healing energy that's gathering. Our gratitude comes from inside. I want you to bring your hands in front of your chest, almost like prayer posture, but keep the distance between your palms. Now, feel the gratitude in this moment. I am grateful to be here, to feel energy, feel my body. And I'm grateful for nature, the earth, everything that is existing this life. Thank you. Even the bitterness, I accept. As I move through it, I feel gratitude for what is given to me through life. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha! It's my pleasure to see you all. Since I first visited uh, Hawaii uh, 20 years ago, and I have visited uh, Hawaii for more than 10 times. And I keep cherishing the love for Hawaii. 이러한, 어, 아주 and I was able to open the first center in Hawaii about 15 years ago. 그리고, 어, 그 and it is my sincere pleasure to see all the centers have been growing so well in spite of many many uh, hardships. I'm happy. <laughs> Originally, I was not planning to participate in this event. But I was planning to participate in this event. I was planning to quietly come and, and, and leave. But coincidentally, uh, this chance came to me. And at the same time, I feel a lot of things. So when you plant a seed, then sooner or later, then you will sprout, and then you will bloom a flower, and then you will bear fruits. And our words and behavior, sooner or later, is not passed by, something will happen. That is why our words and thoughts are very important. And it is my great pleasure and happiness to see all the uh, outcome came out from the seed that I planted 15 years ago up to now. Did you enjoy yourself today? Yeah. So the, the beginning of body and brain starts from yourself. 
배운다든지 가르친다는 것보다도 어, 깨닫는다, 체험한다는 말을 좋아합니다. So rather than teaching or learning, I prefer the words of enlightening and then awakening. 시작은 자기 부로부터 시작이 됩니다. So the beginning starts from yourself. 정말로 우리는 엄청난 그런 기능을 갖고 있는 이런 생체 슈퍼 컴퓨터입니다. We are actually body of super computer with lots of different functions. 근데 우리 우리 안에 어떤 그런 능력이나 기능이 있는지 잘 모르고 있습니다. However, sometimes we have no idea what functions and the power that we have inside. 우리 뇌의 파워라든지 신비한 힘은 책에서 배울 수가 없습니다. So the mystical power that we have in our brain, we cannot learn it from books. 현재 인체에서 알려진 것은 그 과학적인 학문적인 것은 한 부분입니다. Only small portion of the fact has been known to people about our body. 자기와 어떻게 하면 대화를 할수 있을까? How can you communicate with, the, with myself? 자기와 대화를 하고 자기를 느끼고 만났을 때 우리 뇌는 서서히 오픈이 됩니다. And how can we conversation and then how can we have a true encounter with yourself? And then your brain will open up. 괜찮습니까? Don't you think so? Yes. 여러분 오늘은 그이그포기스탄스 이 캔디를 먹으면서 그 수유를 하면서 자기를 만났고 체험한 겁니다. Today, as you, uh, as you are eating the coexistence candy and then also experience of the energy, then you have the experience of meeting yourself. 이제 여러분의 그 뉴의 신비, 몸에 여러 가지 신비한 것이 여러분을 향해서 이렇게 계속 이제 오픈이 될 겁니다. And then all the, all the mysteries of your brain and your body will open up to yourself. 그것이 이제 오픈이 되면 되게 되면 여러분은 자기가 정말로 몰랐던 새로운 자신을 발견하게 됩니다. When they are truly open, then you will be able to find yourself that you have never been, never known. 그것이 여러분이 몰랐던 진정한 가치입니다. There is a true value that you have, have no idea. 그 가치는 우리가 돈을 주고 살 필요가 없습니다. And then that value, you don't have to pay money to buy. 돈을 주고 사는 거, 배운 가치, 그래서 한계가 있습니다. The value that you, you learned or you paid uh, money to buy, that has the last limitations. 어, 우리 내면에 있는 이 가치는 이 무한정한 것입니다. But our inner value is infinite. 우리 안에 있는 그런 정말 많은 부분들이 있습니다. We have lots of treasures inside. 숨어 있는 부분이 있습니다. Hidden treasures. 네, 그것을 찾는 그 이, 여러분은 문을 열는 것이. You just open the door to find the treasures. 그리고 자기 자신이 자기와 자꾸 교류를 하고 자꾸 오픈할 겁니다. After all, you should communicate yourself, and you should open up to yourself. 그때 진정한 자기의 가치를 여러분은 발견하게 될 것입니다. That is when you can discover the true value of yourself. 내가 알고 있던 내가 아닌 The self that you didn't know. 새로운 나가 여러분을 기다리고 있습니다. A new you will be waiting for you. 어, 여러분에게 감사와 사랑을 드립니다. I want to extend my gratitude and my love. 그리고 내 안에 있는 메시지를 말로 다 전하기 어렵습니다. And it is hard to describe my messages that I have inside into human language. 그래서 내가 이 피리로 내 마음을 힐링 사운드로 전해주고자 합니다. So that's why I want to deliver my mind through the flute, through the healing sound to all of you. 이제 눈을 감고 손을 이렇게 모아 보십시오. Now close your eyes and then bring your hands together. 눈을 감고 손을 모은다는 것은 우리 내면의 소리를 들릴 준비가 됐다는 시원. Closing your eyes and then bringing your hands together means that you are ready to listen to the inner voice. 이제 내 피리 소리가 여러분 귀를 통해서 여러분의 영혼을 깨워줄 것입니다. The sound of this flute will wake up your soul through your ears. 
And you need to deliver a completely that can feel inside. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Let's begin. Thank you so much. I love you.